Uh, we're going to go from uh, foreign ownership to foreign jobs. The next question is from Matthew Lawrence. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Um, I'm an unemployed Australian merchant seafarer. Why would any government in their right mind replace taxpaying Australian seafarers with exploited foreign seafarers working on 457 visas working for as low as $2 an hour? Good question. Alan Jones, we'll start you off on that. Well, it's, it's obvious. I mean, you're, you're th I mean, there's no answer to your question. Absolutely ludicrous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we're talking earlier on about gender equality. What about employment equality? Where is someone actually supporting Australian jobs? We, we pretend we're about it, and at the first snap that we get a chance, the opposite happens. The, the man's got an unanswerable question. So um, you're essentially backing the MUA's uh, campaign? Look, I don't care who the campaign is. If someone's right, you back. If I think someone's right, I back them. I don't care whether they're unionists or what they are. And I think in this instance, that bloke's supporting Australian jobs and, and the capacity to take home a pay packet for his wife and kids, and he's being gazumped by someone who comes in more cheaply. I mean, the thing is happening all the time, in a sense. The, the free trade agreements are fine, you know, but how does an Australian company compete when it's rightly paying good wages so that people can have a dignity and a decent style of life in this country, and yet competing with countries who are importing stuff into Australia where they're paying their workers nothing? Michaela Cash. Uh, thank you very much for the question. Just uh, to be sh sort of sure here, everything that you're referring to uh, is currently happening under the legislation that the Labor Party brought in oh, in 2012. But the licences that, licenses that, that have brought been it. granted yeah. are allowed to be granted under Labor's legislation. Which, the Coalition which you have Government granted. has made no changes to the coastal shipping laws. So everything you're referring to would, would is you, happening Would, would you like us. to? Do you think uh, you yes, should? Yes, we would, absolutely, because we believe that okay. shipping needs to be competitive. Can I just give you some well, statistics? Sorry, do you, do you, just to pick up Alan Jones's point and our questioners, do you think it should be uh, Australian seamen on these vessels? Uh, I think who that lost we need jobs. to ensure that we are internationally competitive, because if we are not, you will see far more jobs lost in Australia. Coastal shipping in Australia is on the decline, and it's on the decline because of the legislation that the Labor Party brought in. The number of vessels has gone from 30 down to 15. I'd be worried about that as well. But everything that is occurring is occurring under the 2012 legislation. Okay, just, just pause, I want just to see to... coastal shipping in Australia Competitive. Michaela, just pause your second. Now, I'll, I'll come back to you because we don't want people yelling out, but you can quickly respond to that. Go ahead. Thank you. You know, how can we compete on two, with $2 an hour? It's impossible. What, what, right. what can, can you pay a mortgage, your, your child's education, hospitals on $2 an hour? Can you compete with $2? And they just, you know, the, the 457 visa, that was, that was supposed to be bought in to, to pull up a slack in a, a shortage of labour, not to replace uh, Australian workers. It was here to replace a, a, a skilled shortage. So if there was no workers available in Australia, yeah, sure. But as long as they're paid Australian rates and conditions, okay. not to be brought in on... Five, seven workers, they have to be paid Australian rates and conditions. And, in fact, they're actually... They're by not. law, they have to be paid above they're not. that. Some they're are not, not even being paid. Five, seven they're workers not. account for less than 1% of Australia's workforce. Under the Coalition Government, the number of 457 people coming to Australia has declined from that under Labor, where okay. it effectively doubled Minister, when Labor was in office. I'm, I'm just going to... Because you did mention the Labor Party before, in fact, blame them times. for the situation, so... <laughs> Penny, what... It's your legislation! It's your well, legislation! Let, let's be clear. What is happening, um, you know, on the MV Portland, what is happening uh, in terms of coastal shipping under this government is, is a deliberate government policy. It is a deliberate decision to not prioritise Australian jobs, but to enable foreign workers on foreign crewed vessels to, to operate domestic um, uh, routes. Now, our view is, and Michaela says, oh, it's your act. Look, the, the truth behind that, everyone, is that they couldn't get the numbers in the Senate to change the legislation, so they've done it via the back door, via licences that they're issuing. The licences so let's be really clear. Well, it well, is a change of policy which were never issued under us. Which were never issued under us. So let's be clear. Now, uh, our view is uh, we should think about domestic shipping in the way we think about the Hume Highway or our rail, railway 
uh, drivers. You know, you have to have an Australian licence accrued by Australian workers on Australian wages and conditions. Why we would allow a situation where we have people, uh, foreign crews, when Australians are available, who are not required to observe the same conditions that Australian uh, seafarers are, uh, are employed under. Why we would voluntarily say we have to have, have to have them in the system because we have to be internationally competitive yeah. when the US doesn't do it and a number and, and well, a number of other people. Job tomorrow. Companies, this is the issue. Don't do it. Who gets this bloke a job tomorrow? This bloke's been run out of town by cheap labour. That's the issue. I mean, we can talk till the cows come home.